Hey guys, welcome back. Um, let me put my coffee cup down. Sorry you hear the vacuum going in the background. Um, so I just got back from the doctor. I'm gonna go into my office. So my last vlog I posted, I believe, was it Monday? No, it was, so it was two vlogs ago. Um, I went to the emergency room, so that was last week. And they told me to follow up with my doctor, like, after a few days, if the, uh, like, symptoms or whatever of what I had did not go away. Saturday was a good day. And then Sunday, it all started back. So, like, Saturday I felt fine. I was like, oh, that's so good. It's just a stomach ulcer. Like, I'm fine. False alarm. Like, it's not gallbladder. It's nothing serious. Cool. So, oh God, I can't even stand still. Um, Sunday it all changed and it went right back and I started to get the pains again and it's every time I eat and it's like excruciating. So, oh my God, it hurts so bad. Um, I am going tomorrow to have my, so when you're watching this, it will have been yesterday to have an ultrasound done to see if it is a, God, if it is, um, gallbladder stones or a gallbladder infection they did blood work and it is not a pancreatitis thank you god that was scary because you can't get rid of your pancreas like it's pretty pretty vital um i can't even stand still it like hurts so bad so yeah i'm going tomorrow um to have my ultrasound done at 10 45 and i can't eat before i go I don't think they know that's not a good idea. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Um, I, I'm not I'm not one who does well when I'm hungry. I'm so excited. <laughs> god, this hurts so bad. Um, okay, so I just I wanted to update you guys because I know that like two vlogs ago, I was in the emergency room and then kind of nothing like the the vlog after that I was like totally normal and I felt fine that vlog was filmed completely on Saturday and so and then like Sunday morning and I was fine then I felt good I was so happy I was like oh okay it was just a stomach ulcer um oh my god this hurts <clears throat> and so Sunday night I was like oh great it's back the pain's back and I hadn't left since so Okay, just gonna just wanted to update you guys, but I'm gonna get back to what I was doing before this and just hold on until tomorrow morning. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. I'm in so much pain. Okay, so wanted to update you guys really quick. Um, I'm like a nap queen lately. My whenever I'm not feeling good, <laughs> especially if it's something I can't fix, I'm just like I'm gonna nap. Because the way I look at it is like, at least if you're sleeping, you can't feel it. Um, so I got a call from the doctors. It's actually probably too late in the day to be napping. I got a call from the doctors. Um, and they were just like, we're calling to confirm your appointment and go over some of your information. And I was like, okay. So we're going through it. And they're like, you have to have an abdominal whatever ultrasound and she goes you can't eat before you come in and I said yeah I know it's at 10 45 and she goes well do you want to come in earlier and I was like yeah and she said oh, okay come in at 7 15 in the morning I'll put you down we have an opening so you girl thank god got an appointment at 7 15 I won't have to wait till like 11 and not eat um it won't and hopefully I won't be in much pain because I won't have eaten anything and it's really bad after I've eaten and like if they mash on it and I haven't eaten I feel like the pain's gonna be significantly less than if they mash on it and I have so thank god they got me in at 7 15 but then I was thinking about it and I was like oh that means I need to leave my house at like <laughs> 6 30 <laughs> it's okay I'd rather look like crap and have to get up super early and be able to eat earlier than not be able to because if and that's a big if this is something um, wrong with my gallbladder and I have to have surgery they're gonna schedule it it's not gonna be like emergency at least I don't think that's what my doctor said they're never like emergency like how my appendicitis was um, then hopefully 
I was just leaving, go get me some Waffle House or something. I want some waffles. Oh, hey guys, so I think the last time I updated you, I just got my appointment moved to 7.15, which I am still so excited about. Um, so I'm about to head out now. I'm in the car, obviously. I have to take, I have this whole bag. I don't know if I can show you guys. This whole bag of donation stuff. And we have a, um, what's it called? One of those little bins that like you can just put your clothes in. Um, and you don't even have to like go inside or anything. Like you just put it inside the bin and then it gets donated. And I'm just going to go do that. And then I also have to check my P.O. box. I haven't checked my P.O. box in a few days. And every time I don't check it, I like, it's after work hours of course and never fails I'll, I'll i'll get something and it'll be like you have to come um sign for your package and i'm like great i'll be back tomorrow so just just you know, let you know also i want you guys let me park the car really quick i want to say this i want you guys to start really hyping up this video sam is really considering being on my vlog channel more like so much to the point that if he is i would change the channel's name from like me like mariah robinson vlogs to like mariah and sam or we would come up with a name or something um he's really considering joining me on the vlog more but he still is a little bit concerned like just about talking on camera i was really weird about it at first it's something he would just have to like kind of push through but like also i mean just like the putting yourself out on the internet and putting yourself out there to scrutiny putting yourself out there to scrutiny scrutiny why can i not say that word <laughs> putting yourself out there is difficult so i want you guys to really hype this video up because i'm gonna have him in the rest of it so hype it up make him excited make him welcomed on the vlog channel and hopefully fingers and all your toes crossed he will be joining me like full time on this video soon so just let you guys know but now I gotta I gotta get going I'm just sitting in my driveway now my neighbor's outside and they're like what the crap is she doing what are you, what are you? <laughs> it's okay <laughs> the cook time is so it says you place the potatoes in ice water and let soak for 10 minutes Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, my chest hurts so bad. I probably need to go ahead and turn the oven off. Yeah, because if you're not even at the 10 minute part. Yeah, it's just gonna be waiting. Yeah. Okay. You wanna fill something up with ice water and go ahead and start putting them in there. Okay, I mean, this was what I was gonna. So if you'll just take, do you want me to do that? Uh. All right, so, oh, that, whatever, what did you put on that steak? I'm trying to tell them. Just, just regular uh, pepper, salt, garlic, uh, steak seasoning, and beer. You put beer on our steak? Yes, that's how you marinate it. Golly. Why are you the way that you are, Sam Robinson? Mm -hmm. Especially steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So we actually cut the steak in half. This isn't the steak we usually use, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it looks huge. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. And then we're also gonna cook asparagus and make cookies because I can't eat past midnight tonight. I'm gonna go big. Actually, they said like eight to ten hours before my ultrasound, so it would probably more be like ten. Baked potato is fine. It's just you gotta have like other stuff with it. Like I don't like baked potato with butter. I want like 
sour cream. Everything cheese. on it. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't like just like a baked potato with butter. See? I'd rather just make mashed potatoes. I want a baked potato with butter and like chives, that's it. I don't want anything else on my baked potato. Put sour cream on it, I will throw up. Let's see, I want sour cream, baked no. potatoes, like no. everything. No, 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 no sour cream. Ugh. Not anything. I don't know why, but sour cream has never, never been appealing to me. And I, I vaguely remember there was like an instance when I was little and I maybe thought that I was eating one thing and I was eating sour cream. So maybe that was like I'm scarred. I vaguely remember that, but. I'm eating spoonfuls of mayonnaise with black olives in it. <laughs> yeah. Tell them what's in there. Um, salt, cavenders, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and um, God, this is a lot of potatoes for two people. Vegetable oil. Might have some to give away at the end of the night. It would be a lot easier if we had one of those little brush. This stuff is heavenly. Paint on cavender. Focus. Whatever it's focus. called. This is Cavenders. It's all purpose Greek seasoning. A friend told us about this. Y'all, yum. Sam likes to go a little crazy with the with the seasoning sometimes. Put that on. I'm not done with that. Oh, see, but sometimes I mean all the time. This is like some of our favorite potatoes, though. Just set the oven to 400, and about 30 minutes later. I think just cook them for 30 minutes. I don't think it's necessary to like. I'm cooking them the full time. But I'm saying I don't think it's necessary to pull them out eat like every 10 minutes. That the only reason you seem... do that is to like reapply no. the seasonings and stuff if you want to keep adding. Here's how he marinates his steak. He flipped it over. Didn't you flip it over already? No, it needs to be flipped. That's not how you're supposed to do you're supposed to No, it. you're not supposed to marinate it like that, but it's just. It's a plastic bag and. It's how we do it like when we're just being lazy. You want me to do it? Don't try not to let it splash everywhere. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you did. You did just let me do something, and let's be honest, we we both knew that was a bad idea. Not the most coordinated. Hold on. all the beer and blood. I, do you use beer all mm -hmm. the time? Every time. Is that what makes it so dang good? It just helps keep it from drying out on this kind of stuff versus if you do it on a grill. So the whole point of marinating, you like put them in a bag with the seasonings and yeah, I know what marinating is. And it makes it, it like they soak up all the moisture, so it doesn't cook them out. And make them dry. Oh gosh. All right, so just in case y'all didn't see, I put a little bit of butter, just a tiny bit of water, and then the Cavenders garlic salt, and then just black pepper, and that's the butter we used. And dinner is ready. Oh, so good. That is so many freaking potatoes. <coughs> Yummy. Is this one mine or yours? No mine. This one's mine. What's it called? something and I'm gonna have to have surgery or they're not gonna find something and I'm home with no answers and pain in my stomach. I can already feel that I'm taking a nap today. <laughs> God. I'm nervous. Okay, so my face is red. I've been crying. I thought it that's anyway. Um, so, 
we left the doctor's office and they said kind of similar to what we thought they were gonna say um, she did say that like their doctor will review it and then send it to my doctor within 24 hours but then she said but it looks pretty good though which means that they don't know what it is potentially I mean there could be something that I didn't see or she did I don't know regular doctor and figure out what we're gonna do next. I'm so nervous. What is our dog? He's dog. What is our boy? About him? No, look. No, I think it's... <gasps> oh! My God! Mm-hmm. He's half lab, half mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've definitely heard that. We've definitely heard Boxer. I've never heard Beagle, ever. What the heck is a Chow Chow? He's half lab, half mud. Doug! Douglas! Guess what? You're not a full lab. The people who my sister bought you from are liars. But that's okay. We love you anyway. We love you anyway. Yeah. I can't believe it. You're 50% lab, 12% Boxer, 12% Chow Chow, whatever that is, 12% Beagle, which, where? Where the Beagle in you? These are tiny. They're so little. Oh my goodness, Doug. <laughs> I'm gonna... oh, okay. I can start just yelling and you have to cut it out. Guess who I'm like forcing to join me on the vlog channel permanently. I like asked him and I was like, you should do it. We've like talked about it for some time. And Doug, then Doug. I just was like, okay, Doug. I'm changing the name. Come on, come on. It's our vlog channel. Come on. It's our... Get her. So here we are. This is, <laughs> this is, a... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not no. me. No, I'm not ready. I'm not <laughs> Say hello to them. <laughs> Stop trying to get him to lick my armpit. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. He's missing anyway. Say hello oh, to them. Oh, there he goes. Sam. <laughs> we have to take a cute thumbnail. Cute thumbnail. <laughs> You're crushing. <laughs> Baby, you can't say things like that. I can see what he's doing on his phone. What are you doing? Laughing. <sighs> say hello. Wait, let it focus. There you go. Hello. <laughs> All right, so it's Sam and Mariah Vlogs. That's its new name. It's channel. Moving on up. Bye, guys.